<laughs> Welcome back to the channel once again, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? I hope you are having a fantabulous day. I'm doing... I'm doing okay. I'll explain as we get going. So, as you see, I'm working on Native American beading. This is a wider bracelet than I have worked on before. So I went ahead and did a couple of the first rows just to make sure that all of the goof-ups were out of the way before I started recording. Because those first, like, three rows are a booger. So, let's go ahead and get into the next row. So, this is 16 beads wide. So, I need to count out all my beads. Because they would sit still. Um, what's four? So, today we're going to talk about... Um, some questions, well, I asked in my whip and chat last week, I asked for some topics, so I had, uh, Sister Crashly and Elizabeth send me some topics to talk about, so that's what we're going to talk about, so... They're both, both of their topics were close to the same. Um, Crashly said, you know, show us some pictures of you as a kid, bring back memories and talk about growing up and such stuff. And then Elizabeth said, well, why don't you talk about how you were brought up? So to me, that's, that's pretty close to the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and get to talk in here. Um, so Growing up, I was the middle brother of three boys. Oops, I missed a diamond. Or I missed a, a bead. I thought I counted 16. I just need one. I just need one. All right, I got my one back. So, growing up, I was a, a middle child of three brothers. Um, I don't talk about my brothers much because... Well, I talk about my little brother because he's my cool brother. Uh, my older brother, he's an asshole. I don't, I don't particularly like to talk about him. Um, so, growing up... Being the middle child, that was always, like, hard for me because, like, I always... Oh, there's my other other one right there. Shit. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it, you guys. I fixed it. Um, so, growing up, it was always really difficult being the middle... Middle boy of the hooligans, you know. Um, I always caught slack, for say, from my older brother. Because I... He won't leave me alone. He's always... Always hanging around me. I just want to hang out with my girlfriend, you know. And then when my little brother... It was like I always I always got in trouble because it's like mom he won't leave me alone or mom he won't let, play with me mom he won't give me the toys I was like shut up it's nine seven so I always caught hell Between the brothers. Alright, I think it's 16. So I always, always catch hell. So growing up, I was born in LA. My parents 
moved up here where I live now when I was five months old. And you guys can't see. So I moved up here when I was five months old to get away from the big city because my parents didn't want us kids growing up in the big city. Plus we were, my grandparents were moving up here because at the time my grandma had, had real bad issues. She was a smoker for a long time. She had real bad breathing issues, so they wanted to get her the hell out of the city. So we moved up here on this property I live on now. We still live here. And so when we got here, my grandparents lived on the property as well as we did. And man, let me tell you, growing up on a property with grandparents that's hard okay i need i need both of these open it was it was really hard growing up on property with grandparents that lived on the property as well because i had an adult all over the place anytime anything would ever happen it was like stop that don't do that uh, yeah, so I need dark first. No, I need blacks first. So I need one, two, three, four blacks. So well, I'm making this. I'm not doing the white line there or there. I'm doing it black. And the eyes are going to be blue. So just want to share that with you guys. So growing up, uh, my grandmother on my mom's side was, I don't know, I, I, I'm, looking back at it, I never really understood it. Um, my grandmother was a Native American woman, and she was also brought up under a Christian home. So she was... Always super big and the going to church, so whenever it was Sunday, it was always, oh shit, I don't need those yet. Pay attention, Jeremy. Crap. I almost completely messed that one up. I don't need those two yet. Those go next. I need two dark ones first. Squirreling away over here. Squirreling away. So, I never put two and two together before, but my grandmother was a Native American woman, and she was a firm believer in... She was a Christian. And... It was... Definitely different, going to church with a, gram, a Native American Indian grandma. Eleven. Uh, so, whenever Grandma wanted to go to church, nobody else would go with Grandma. So it was, I was a Grandma's boy. So it was always Grandma's going to church. Jeremy, go with Grandma. Make sure Grandma don't go and do anything crazy. It's four, eight, nine. Sorry, I'm counting. Ten. And 11. So it was always go with grandma. And when my grandma started getting older, she started getting more crazy with the. How do I put this? With the. The gas pedal in the car. Yeah. My grandmother had. See, you guys still can't see this. My grandmother had a lead foot and liked to put that lead foot to the floor. Do you guys hear Trapper over there snoring away? I 
I got one too many. Oh, I swear I can never get this just right. Okay, let's try this again. I figure as much as I do this, I would I would have this down pat. But anyways, I'm scrolling away over here. Uh, so Grandma got to the point where she was she was a a, a lady Houdini, right? So whenever. Grandma decided she was going to town for something. Uh, it was always my mom and my grandpa asked me to go because I was a grandma's boy. I loved my grandma to death. I would go anywhere to the end of the earth with my grandma. Got down to the point where We got in several car accidents with Grandma because Grandma was a freaking lead foot. Never would freaking... She was the type of Grandma that would drive balls to the walls until it's time to stop. And then it was like the last second trying to stop. Yeah, that was my Grandma. So, it got to the point where my Grandma would say, Oh, I gotta go to town to pick up Grandpa's pictures because my grandfather was a insurance adjuster so he always had to have pictures taken of the vehicles and so my grandma would be like i'm going to town to pick up the film for papa come with me and i'm like mom i'm too afraid to ride with her just ride with her i'm like mom i, I don't want to i'm afraid just, just ride with her. You're going to hurt her feelings. I'm like, but mom, I don't want to. It, it, got, it seriously got to the point where my grandma would scare the living crap out of me. One, my grandmother was like four foot f ten, if she was lucky. And she had a lead foot from hell. And she could barely sit up in the seat to see. And it scared the living crap out of me. I kept telling my papa, I don't want to ride with grandma no more. Why don't you want to ride with grandma no more? I said, papa, she scares the living crap out of me. And he goes, and now you know why I don't ride with her. I said, then take the vehicle away from her. She's going to end up and hurt somebody. So it ended up got to the point where she ended up and wrecked her car a couple of times. And my papa was just like, okay, toots, you can't drive no more. And then once we told her she couldn't drive no more. Yeah, that was like the end of the world. She, she, she was going to whoop all of our asses. So, growing up with grandparents living really close to the property, uh, on the same property, um, I couldn't get away with anything growing up. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I think I was six years old, we went down to my grandparents' house in L.A. when they were living down there. Because they end up and stayed down there for another uh, couple of years after we moved here. They bought the property, we moved here, and then they end up moved up later on. So I need two. And so I, th I think I was like six years old. Grandma and Grandpa were getting ready to move up here. So. We went down there to help them get stuff packed up and to start moving down here. Or moving up here. Because they're down. Um, okay. I got, I'm trying to make sure I have everything I need. I got two of those, one of those, 
And then I need three of these light colored ones. So we get down there and my grandma's like, okay, we're going to take you around and show you off to a couple of the neighborly people. And we want you to shake your hand with your right hand and say, hi, very nice to meet you, ma'am. You know, or very nice to meet you, sir. I'm six freaking years old, Grandma. You think I really know how to shake somebody's hand? Oh, I learned how to shake hands very, very fast. Um, the first time I went to shake somebody's hand, I stuck my right hand out, or my left hand out. Nice to meet you. The person shook back with his left hand, um, and then after we left that person's house, I got my ass chewed out at six years old. That's not the way you shake somebody's hand. I told you how to shake his hand. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Grandma, it's okay. No, it ain't. No, it's not. Uh, I'm having a hard time keeping track of what I'm on over here. So I need three dark grays. So that's how I was brought up. I was brought up very strict. You don't back talk your elders. You treat your elders with respect. And then one light one. And I think that's why today I am so respectful to everybody. And that's why I say in my, my outro. No, it's not really my outro, but as I end my video, I say love, peace, and respect for one another. Because... If you don't have respect for one another, there's no reason to, to talk to each other, to be honest. So, growing up, I very, very upfront. If I didn't do something right, I was in trouble. If I disrespected my grandparents, I was in trouble. If I disrespected my grandparents' friends, I was in trouble. You know, it was... I was born in 77, so back then... Parents weren't afraid to give you a whooping. And... And public. And give you a learning. Um, now, my papa and my grandma, and, and basically all of my family, are from Ohio, Tennessee. So, we're a southern-based family, but we moved to California. Uh, so, like, you piss off papa? Oh, you, you don't want to piss off papa. Papa would be like, um, go grab a switch, son. I don't, but Papa, I don't want to grab a switch. I said go grab a switch. Papa, I don't want to grab a switch. Yeah. If Papa tells you to go grab a switch, you go grab a switch. And make sure it's not no big old fat switch. Make sure it's a switch that's going to hurt. And that's how I grew up. I was I grew up to respect my elders. You don't back talk people. You have respect. You say yes sir, yes ma'am. Somebody says thank you, you're very welcome. You know. Okay. I need a dark one. It's not really dark. It's it's more of like a gunmetal color. But that's all they really had for grays. And then Three light colored ones. I need to find better grays because I mean This is what I'm using for gray and it's like a smoky color So that's one gray And that's the other gray it looks like a gunmetal gray anyways, um So I got I got two of those dark ones, so I need three light colored ones so, 
Let's see, anything else? Not that I can really think of. It's just... We learned respect to our elders very quickly growing up. We didn't talk back to anybody. Oh, I need four of those. Dang it. Did I grab four? No, I grabbed three. Anyways, so that's basically some part of me coming up into the world. Very strict grandparents and mom and dad. Shit, I messed up again. Gosh darn it. Okay. I didn't have it messed up. I was looking at the wrong one. So I grabbed a, a picture to help cover the line I'm going. So other than that, I pretty much was raised on this 15 acres that I live on. We raised cows. Okay, you guys. I had to take a break. I had to walk away. Uh, uh, I really don't know what to say. Um, I messed up somewhere. So, the pattern's off now. And I really don't know how to fix this. I've I've looked over. Everything's correct up to here. And then I was putting on this row. And I have one too many blacks. In the row. So I start looking at the, the chart here. And I have everything that's on here is accounted for onto this row. But it don't fit. So. Something happened. I don't know. I don't know. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that's sixteen across. Ah. <sighs> I really need to start doing this stuff earlier. I need to start setting a day just to record for the week. Now it's almost 11 o'clock. And I'm getting really tired. And don't know what to do to fix this. So what I'm probably going to do for now is stop this. I'm going to show you guys some pictures of me growing up through childhood up into a, a young adult. Um, I will finish trying to figure this out off camera. We'll come back to this for a Friday video. I just, I don't know what happened. Something went off. Anyways, I'm 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 to the point right now where I'm done with it. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever ever do that where you start working on something and then it just it just starts pissing you off and it's not it's not going the way you planned on it going and now it's just it's just flat out pissing me off. So this first picture I have here was from 1993. Yeah, I had braces. Uh, I graduated in 96, so that was my freshman year. I had braces. God, I hated freaking braces. I had braces for eight years. This was my 
senior class picture. I look like a baby. Okay, let's see. What kind of shenanigans I can get into. This was in a newspaper clipping. Um, see, it says Jeremy Fryer, four years old, sampling a cookie at the Home Fun Fair. Let's see if I can pull this out. Oops, I dropped a picture of my brother. Oh, well, that's the asshole brother anyways. <laughs> okay. So this is called the Palisadro Homespun Fair, which they call it something different now. It's called the uh, Palisadro Honeybee Festival. There I am. With my cowboy hat, eating a chocolate chip cookie. I think it was chocolate chip. Maybe it, it may have just been chocolate. A little cowboy get up that I used to always wear. Uh, picture of me on the beach. Or, um... Now, like I said, I grew up in, I grew up here on this property, but every summer I went to L.A. to visit grandparents, because grandparents lived down there for a little while longer. Um, here's me at a birthday. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then an evil looking clown. It's me and my my big cowboy hat. Here's me at some point. <laughs> There's me and my brothers and my grandmother shooting our guns. It's me at the beach. Yeah, I was a toehead baby. I had no hair. See, if you guys ever remember me telling you guys where I had no teeth. So, when I was four or five, I can't remember exactly. It was it was in between there. Um Around the time when my teeth all started growing in. Well, because of my growth hormone deficiency, which I, I was born with a pituitary dwarfism, which, in layman's terms, for you guys to understand, it's a growth hormone deficiency. So my body didn't produce everything I needed to grow. So at one point in time, having such a low thyroid, it messed up my gums. So, my teeth were soft in my gums. I could practically wiggle my gums in my, or my teeth in my gums. So, they went ahead and pulled out all of my front teeth at a young age. So, growing up, I had to learn how to, see, I didn't have any front teeth there. I was just a youngster. I wasn't smiling there. I didn't have any teeth there. So, at a young age, I got my teeth pulled out. Here's me and my brother at the gymnastics. My friend Deja was big into gymnastics. She had a full out gymnastics ring at her house. Me and my cowboy get up. Don't mess with the cowboy and his guns. There's me. No teeth. I wonder if these say anything on them. How old I was. Probably had to have been four or five. Hmm. 
No, don't say nothing. Uh, here is my my dad, my older brother, me, and my baby brother. You can tell we were surf babies. Look how dark we were. Plus, I'm part Indian. Indian Heritage Day. Um, I think that's my older brother. Who cares? There's me. There's my truck. Back when it was blue. Look at the socks. Good God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, that was the good old days. There's us at the beach. It's my little brother. Here's my dad, my uncles, and my Aunt Edith, and my brothers. I was in a really pissed off mood that day for some reason. Wasn't getting what I wanted, I guess. More beach days. Beach days. I don't know who that kid is sitting with us. Don't have a clue. Skip the naked baby pictures. There's one picture of me. I was a fat baby, you guys. I was I was born, I was ten pounds. 11 ounces, so I was a huge baby. And there's that stat. What else do we got over here? I know some of these are duplicates, like this is a duplicate. I think this is one of my favorites. Just going through these pictures, it, 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 it brings back so many memories. So, here's me. At, is that me? That has to be me, because those were my dogs. So, this was Duke. Duke was six months old. I had to put him to sleep. He had leukemia. Um... And then that was DJ when he was a puppy. And that's after... I mean, look how much he looks like Trapper. Now, um, hold on a second. Oh, I know you can't see it from this picture, but he looks just like Trapper. He's got the darker ears. He's got the red nose. You guys know what Trapper looks like. Oh, there's the sassy butt. Yeah, he just looks, he looks a lot like Trapper. That was a very sad day. And then this little puppy right here, DJ, this is what DJ grew up to be. He was Boxer Bull Mastiff. There's me. I think I was... Uh, that was about four months before my mom passed away. Actually, I think my mom had been passed away in this video because I got... I got... Uh, DJ at this time. My mom passed away like a couple of months after this. So... Yeah, this was sometime later. I miss you, DJ. DJ reminds me so much of Trapper. Tra or Trapper reminds me so much of DJ because he does the stuff that DJ used to do. Except for DJ used to be a big fighter. He didn't care if it was a male or female dog. He would go over and whoop some ants. And he got to the point where he got in lots of trouble. There's an old picture of me and DJ. Yeah, I ain't gonna explain why it's cut to a heart. 
Let's see. A picture of me and DJ when he was a baby. This is my beautiful mama with me. I mean, that's me right there. Picture is really old and kind of blown out looking. There's me. I was suited up. Why do I have all these pictures that aren't even really of me? Tenth grade. Wow. Ed braces. See my teeth are all jacked up. Look at them eyes. Whoa, I got the blue eyes. I still got them sexy blue eyes. Okay, I'm gonna look through a couple more pictures, see if I can find anything else as me growing up. Um, this was me fishing on the Sacramento River with my uncle. Um, shit, I had to pit been 17 or 18, maybe a little older. There's me and my brothers. I'm in the middle. Oh gosh. I think I've told you guys about me having a pot belly pig growing up. There's me and my pot belly pig. His name was Arnold. That was my mama. His name was Arnold. And it got his name from Green Acres. After our house fire in 94, it's when I got Arnold. And I had to go back to school when school started back up. And he pretty much became my mom's pig, which I was cool with. So here's one of the horses that we saved from our my great uncle's um horse horses that was my mom uh he used to raise and breed horses uh specifically for track racing um here's another horse this is flair one of the horses that we took he was getting really old, had 120 racehorses that I just could not care for anymore. So we went down and took a few of them. This was me with my first car. Yeah, it was a Ford. Don't look at it. Stupid Ford. Uh, this is me in my culinary arts cooking class which was an ROP class after college, or after high school. Here's a picture of me sometime. I don't even know when the heck was this. I have no clue. It was probably for a birthday, or actually it looks like Christmas. Such a goober. There's Arnie. Well, guys, I think I'm going to get off of here. And, uh... See if I can figure out what I did wrong with this pattern. Here's some of my piggies I had when I was raising piggies.
my mama taking care of some cows. Taking care of some babies. There's me getting dressed up to go out one night. Got my my big old uh, bronc roping or uh, what was that? That belt buckle was oh, it was a bull riding belt buckle. Me, can you guess what album I'm, I'm listening to? It kind of looks like Kenny G to me. <laughs> I liked Kenny G back then. I, uh... This was like my freshman year of high school. The hell does my hat say? I don't know. But I remember the jacket was... Uh, the Oklahoma Magics. Alright, I think that's it. I'll leave you guys with that for now. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day and have enjoyed some show and tell of pictures. I'm truly sorry about the video being a shit show. I'll figure out that pattern. I don't know what happened. I had to have not put in a row. I don't know. I may have to go and cut all that off and start all over. We'll see. We'll catch you on Friday with the rest of this. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Remember love, peace, and respect for one another. And have a great day.